Alrighty, guys. So I decided that we are going to be starting Order Up, Episode 5. And, of course, we're going to play through the rest of these episodes. Because I do got Season 2 on the way. So we may as well get this done. And we might take a break from this to play... Uh, what is it? Space Marines, if that's coming out? No, I don't think that comes out until September. So this might be what we play until... Uh, Warhammer Space Marines comes out. So, Space Marines 2, sorry. So, yeah, anyways, we're just going to hop right into this, starting it up. Now, you may notice something as well. I uh, I fixed something that was wrong with my videos, and that was the bitrate. I had it capped at, like, 6,000. And in which, if you're streaming on Twitch, and in which at one point I did, that's what you would think you would need, all right? But apparently, you're supposed to set it to, like, 25,000. That's what one of my friends told me for the best optimal. So I did it, and I've already noticed a difference in my last video. And we'd be sneaking. Also, I did notice something. If you look at my shoulder pads compared to where in, when this was on the armor stand, uh, the, the texture for my uh, shoulders is... Uh, is upside down. My shoulder pad texture is upside down on accident. Wow. Got me some enchanted weapons that didn't even help. The skeletons are behind us. Oh, we don't worry. We got Petra. Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you. Just threw it into a wall. Dude, you're getting pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? That is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, For glory! glory! Hmm. I have, like, no memory of what to do here. I know we all and usually I do, and I'm there, pretty sure that's gonna be I'm common for most of these episodes. hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places uh, work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. So most of the time when I played Season 1 of Minecraft Story Mode, because my original copy, which I still have, is only the first three or four episodes, or five. I think it's the first five episodes. So this is one of them. But most of the time I quit because it was like, oh, I'll, I don't want to play that level until I get the DLC. But then I just never got the DLC. So this is like, I think I only like played this ever once. Hi, Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. Good to see you're no longer left alone in a cave. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free. I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. Guess it's she's not a people person. Nice, though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. 
I think I know the puzzle now. It's starting to click. I think I gotta pull all these lever levers and drop the lava. But that closes another one. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Olivia. I'm gonna just every time yeah? I get confused now. I'm gonna just do Minecraft villager sounds. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well. These channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time, and I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So, what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers, but some cocoa beans would be cool too. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. We have no clue what to do, honestly. Blocked again! That one reset as well. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Right. So, what kind of loot you think we're going to find in here? Oh, man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Yeah, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Okay, I'm I like the fact he's still this. wearing the fishbowl, like dude. Magnus. I think that's just actually one of Magnus's helmets that we took. Can I not go this way? Can I look down in here? That's like the only thing I haven't done. this one. Hmm. Do I have to flick them in a certain order? Hey, it's working! Oh, wait. No, it's not. Never mind. Now they're just, like, stopping. What about this one? Okay, this one's going. Uh, okay, when I pulled the back one, that one on the right stopped. What if I go around and pull the one on the left? I'm thinking that's what it's going to be. I might be wrong. I am. There's got to be something I'm missing. The lever. This route goes and fills. Pull this lever. It goes, it fills, but then this one closes. This one stays open. So, what if I run back and open this one? Okay, 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 yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? Look at the dots on the wall. One, two, three. And if I walk over here, there isn't going to be one on this one, see? Nothing there. And then four. It told me the cold code the whole time. It was right there. And I didn't realize it until I saw it. After I got like a good third of the way through it. Three fourths. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. You think? This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. 
We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. <laughs> yeah, we were all totally unprepared. It's crazy we didn't die. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. I forgot to mute my phone. Bingo! Alright, let's see what we've got. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think no matter what, I'm gonna get the enchanted flint and steel. Hey, it's a cake! Oh, I got a cake. Hey, this reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut, and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Huh, a pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. For a call, this leaves a blue flame. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do oh, that before. Oh, it is before. not. Oh, look at uh -oh. all the zombies, though. I thought this was gonna like leave a blue flame for some reason. And uh, yes, I know that now if you light soul sand, it does leave a blue flame. What's the plan? Yes, because you got soul sand like lands and all that. For a secret yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Builder bump on my command. Right R. Gotcha cover. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> Hurry. Ooh, close one. Great job, Jesse. Sorry, I just went with Builder Bump because that's the only thing I could remember. <sighs> oh, all these mobs, where does it end? Burning away. We're trapped. Now what? Quick, jump! Use the vines. Okay, let's get out of here. Cave spiders. Why did it have to be cave spiders? The only way out of here is through them, so get ready. the sword out of there come on dude let's get you out of here I tell you guys doing that never gets old Woo! yeah not too bad killing a bunch of monsters getting sweet treasure like that flint and steel thing you got to try it again I'd be curious to see it again too I'm dying to know how it works uh, okay, what should I burn first? The grass! No, that stump! Oh, 
Oh yes, I was right. Blue flame. Well, but it's like three well, high. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. That's not our name. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> says the heroes that just called their group the new Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero, which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. There's no shame in being second-rate aid, and not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse! <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, they scared easy, didn't they? Not easy enough for my taste. We should be careful. He seems different. Scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He the last guy Ivor. About it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> Doesn't seem to be lagging as much with this many people on the screen as it did last time when we yeah. were at the new order end of the episode is where back we were in town. becoming the new order. It looks freaking awesome! Welcome back! High five, I guess. See that? Jesse high five me! Me! That was a little aggressive. <laughs> and of course she passed out. Happy to see us scream. That, wow, that's that new. looks like something it Ivor would do. somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. 
Wow, that is one epic build with the lava. Yeah, yeah, and the skull motif. Awesome. awesome. I will never understand your taste. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these we do people, here. don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... They've got... Community planning. Blech. Um, Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Can't we just, like, Always build a nice little retainer? Always gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with something. We found something out in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes. Great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! I'm just shaking in fear. Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. Right, thank you, Olivia, uh, for coming up with something safe. smart. Come on, safety. Help me collect some sand, and you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> you stay out of trouble. Good With one. Axel, it's Thanks. gonna be impossible. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Got all our trophies. Lucas! Lucas, I don't believe it. Oh, hey guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. Well, we missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh wow, you framed it. I'm him. Oh my, I just noticed it. Yeah. We literally put the pork chop in a frame. That's like getting your dog taxidermied. What the? <laughs> Why? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how oh. Reuben died because I put him in danger. I feel like that is as bad as getting like your Jesse. cat or dog taxidermied himself. and then just having it he up on the shelf. Hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any like less I mean, guilty. I though. mean, cremating a dog is one thing, all right? I got a <sighs> okay, guys. dog that we've had cremated up on one of our shelves, and yeah. I actually came back but, because I need like, to tell you something. But framing it, like that's like weird part of his body. It's a pork chop. Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. 
The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Yeah, when we saw him, he kind of freaked me out. You know, making crazy threats, knocking his own gang around. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah. Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. Does he have, like, boots of swiftness or something? I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So, what's the flint and steel do then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. The Eversource? A beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? The Ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? Or just yell its name. is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Well, what are we waiting for then? We've already been to that temple once. Finding it again will be a snap. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait. I just noticed as well coming? on the wow. Sounds like artifact of the order. The middle I, uh, one was still glowing because our Ivor was there. Nope. <clears throat> You're coming with. Sorry. I need a buffer yeah, between me throat. and Ivor. Let's get moving. Ivor comes running back like a small child, like, Mom, Dad, come on! This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. And he also makes some damn sure? good enchantments. These trees are enormous! Love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Nice I've to, see, nice you to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. I actually am kind of getting a flashback here on what to do. Petra, I think guy. I need to find Are a way up. Are you two as up. excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super yep. excited, Ivor. I think I need to go up. Well, that wasn't there last night. That's probably what I need to do. Like, yeah, no, I'm thinking this is absolutely what that I need to promising. do. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah, what he said. Climb, Jesse. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. Well, I can't so they walk hid it away that. in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! Why are what? Oh, Eversource. Now I'm kind of getting it. What? Because I'm starting to remember what that there? is. And it's, I believe, a chicken. And that's why that door looks like an egg. <laughs> In 
examine. Well, that seems promising. Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal, it's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Light it. <laughs> Throws everyone back. Oh, and then... Yep. Oh, Steals it. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you could understand, Aiden. Give it back. Says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. I hit that twice. Let's go! We've got to follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. Gotta stop Aiden, quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Don't worry, I've got you! I got you, Ivor. Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh. The proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Any sign of the blaze rods? No, nothing! Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal, the Eversource, he definitely seems to know now. He had to have been listening in at some point. Sky City. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. That, right there. Big floating island on the horizon. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that sooner. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did Empty you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge, and it'll take everything we have... I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Let's do this, then. Pushing. I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Oh, what is Ivor building? Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor. Seriously? <laughs> Sorry. Can't help myself. You're building! I... you... Uh, I... I don't... Hey, you seen a bunch of punks in matching jackets? Call themselves the Blaze Rods? I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't talk to you. Why? You... 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 you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, I... I... well, uh... Why is it That's forbidden? That's the law? Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, 
this is making me terribly nervous, but uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Oh, I just noticed now as well, there's a lot of egg theme shaped buildings in this. Wow. Incredible. Which just wow. reminds me of my Sky Absolutely Factory three beautiful. days yes. where like we had the entire chicken farm the there. Is capable of miraculous Because they had a and chicken mod that where they would drop it. eggs hey, that gave out how war. how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes. I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel, and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The blaze rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. Okay, so now where do I need to go? Hello! It is nice to meet you! Or, you know what? It's probably a good time to do this. If you guys have found yourself at any point enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori, signing off. Peace.